Okay, Mike should be on, you should be ready to go. If that's not perfect timing, I don't know what is. That was perfectly timed music right there. I don't plan these, it just happens. They're gonna rock this house. Knuckles has arrived again. Alright, this should be the last stream for this game, hopefully. I mean, I know this is the end point, so I should know better. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's switch the screen, shall we? There we go. Um, just put... Damn it! <laughs> you used my expectations and tricked me! How dare you! Right. Let's put the strap on like a sensible boy. I'm one of the only people who bothers with these things. Alright. There we go. Let me just make sure I see the correct volume levels, which they are. Right. To be on the last part of the game, hopefully. It's literally just like a three-act game, essentially. Like, the first one's the normal dreams, the second one gets a bit weird, and the last thing it all meshes together. No, not really. No, it's just surprising to see someone so consistently be on the streams. It's interesting to me. <laughs> no, I appreciate your company. It just means, you know, there's someone to talk to, and, you know, things going on. I mean, I find it interesting you're actually dedicating your time to this and, all, and everything. I must be doing something, right? From Bikini Bottom. Oh, right. Flying section with these awkward jank controls. At least I have to disconnect the nunchuck. This needs to adjust the volume. Right, so it's just like the Patrick one with the rocket ship. Now it's a plane. This plane looks nothing like the one we tried to build earlier, though. I just noticed the, uh, there's like a visual effect or like an old film grain type dealio thing. That's a nice touch. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. I mean, that's fair. I mean, it's for you know, it's it's something to do, I suppose. If you got nothing else to do, you know, just hop in for a stream, have some fun. Of course, you know, unless real life stuff gets in the way, you keep busy and all that stuff. The fact that you're dedicating your time towards me, of all people, I like that. I am low on fuel. These things are harder to hit than you think. There we go. Yeah, I can wait, mister. I can wait. I mean, it's the end of the world, mister. Old man Jenkins. It's a good thing they put these fuel casters here, or else we'd be screwed completely. <laughs> well, it's not your. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna blame you or you know, hate you for doing that. You know, there are other things to do with your time. Yeah, I appreciate your company here anyway. Like, it's it's been fun. No, I'm the one who built the damn thing. You could just sit in the cockpit, enjoy your flight. Oh, crap. They just that's cheeky, that seed. Barely get a chance to see it. All that sense of destruction, you couldn't hit a simple plane. He's the main protagonist, of course, he has immunity to that. Head into the sewers. There's a sewer level and it's a requirement. Ow. Oh, 
Yeah, realistically, it, like, it will happen at some point. Like, I'm kind of the same thing when trying to watch some live streamers. It just, it just doesn't happen sometimes, you know? I do like trying to catch up with particular live streams, but it's like... Trying to rewatch a, like, a live stream that isn't live anymore, it kind of loses your reason to be there live, really. I know, it's like two hours of a video, it's like, I can spend my time on something else. But when you're actually there live, like, it's all the interactions that's necessary for the live stream to be unique. That makes me feel like putting the archives on YouTube feels redundant, but at the same time, it's there for a good reason. And maybe some people just missed out, you know? Eh, yeah, the classic cartoon glass pain thing. Oh, there's another C, but this one I can see it. I'm gonna grab it. Grabbed it. I have no idea if this like level would have been easier with actual analog controls or with the motion controls. I can't tell. But the analog works, but you can see how jittery it is. Things with the lack of feedback <laughs> that's just going on, really. There's, you know, the Wii Remote works as a joystick, but it's like, there's no limit to how far you can turn it. Great. The sewers. It just gets better and better. Go over. This is a very impractical sewer system. Where is the sewage? Nothing but airspace. Yeah. Seen the most action packed flying sequence I've ever seen. It's kind of a dull, to be honest. Probably the reason why I'm not talking so much right now. I'm finding excuses right now. Ow. It's a very good valid point as to why live streamers exist. You're there for the live streamer, but if the game happens to match up, then it's to benefit in both ways. It's very accurate. Christ. Yeah. There's another seed. That one I can see at least. I really shouldn't bother collecting these seeds now. I'm pretty sure I've missed a few by now. Like, I'm not getting the extras anymore. That's the end of this uh, section. Hopefully, rules of three do apply here. So, in the meantime, whilst all this flying is going around, that Krabby Patty is still holding on tight to the plane the whole time. Damn, that thing has some grip. That is very true, but, you know, every live stream has to start somewhere. You know, the first few streams, they are going to be empty, guaranteed, because that's where I've been. You stick with it long enough, eventually someone will come in and, you know, see the streams, like you are right now. Like, if you're not here, there's a chance that other people just won't pop in. As long as there's that one person that's in the live stream, you're doing good. Oh, this is tricky. It's kind of weird trying to fly like this. It's it's not reversed, it's just that it's a bit hard to see. Death perception is completely turned off. I think that's what it is. Oh, <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just noticing SpongeBob in the plane. He's having a time of his life. He's not scared at all, he's just enjoying his time. Yeah, he doesn't care. He's taunting now. Jesus. I'm winning because I'm aggressive. 
Any wise thoughts? Um, I usually don't think of them on the moment, they just kind of happen. <laughs> There's just those rare moments where I suddenly become wise for some weird reason. I don't even know how it happens, it just does. really awkward for me. It's like, it, it's not exactly the most comfortable thing in the world. But, like, I'm gripping this thing hard for some weird reason. Because I didn't want to drop it. No, there isn't. There's no car. Oh, I see his lasers. There's the car. It's a bit late. Yeah, okay, that section's over. Okay, moving on. If, meanwhile, people are just panicking off the streets. Yeah, this section ain't that too thrilling or exciting, sadly. I thought it would be, but it's not. It's a bit... On the dull side, this ain't no staff axe. You have to remember, this is a kid's game, but I'm sure some people got bored. Yeah, I'm probably getting the vibes of just like, just a. I'm sure there are some points in games where the devs have to make a level, but they just lack in the creativity to make it that exciting. Yeah, pretty much, just kind of the point of having the livestream archives, just, you know, it's a piece of history, if you want to rewatch yourself actually being there, it's kind of interesting. If you ever happen to rewatch the stream, you happen to be there, it's like, oh yeah, I was there. Kind of neat. Brief shine of popularity, maybe. Come on, break. Damn it. Break. There you go. Ow. I didn't know that much, just lightly grazed you. That's not doing as much impact as it should. No, it just looked like a light nudge. Alright, off to the next section. Just maybe, SpongeBob can lead the beast out of the city. Will he be able to escape the rampaging plankton? Probably not. It didn't work last time. This narrator is not on our side. No, oh, I picked up the seat when I'm even looking. I was reading the chat. I should really be focusing. I'm trying to read the whole thing, but like distracting it at the same time. I'm gonna read the full thing eventually. Need to pick up some fuel quickly. Smart thing to do would probably be to pause the screen right now.
Let's just, um, sorry, I just fully read the thing now. It's just good to have general, like, proper good interactions with a live streamer. It means you, you're keeping things interesting, you know. It's better for the live streamer to be talking about anything than just having a quiet stream, because there's nothing to talk about. Like, right now, to be honest, there's not much to talk about here, it's just a flying section. And I think it goes on just a tiny bit too long. I don't think we should be shooting out the cop uh, planes, I think they're on our side. You can't hit that, it's too low on the ground. Ooh, another seed. I really shouldn't bother, but I'm getting it because it's right there. Yeah, from playing through this game, I'm kind of slightly disappointed in it, shall I say? I mean, remember it being good. It's a bit on the bland side. It's definitely got some good creative ideas, just that the actual game itself is a bit too basic, I suppose. I don't know, it's either that or my tastes have gone too high. To be fair, there are other SpongeBob games out there that probably do better than this, but still. Will our heroes manage to escape, and will the chase ever end? I hope not. I get paid by the word, you know. I get paid by nothing. I haven't gotten that Twitch partnership yet. Oh boy, it's another section of reverseness. I'm not sure if the game would actually be a bit more interesting if, like, the arrows weren't there. I don't know, it'd be more of a challenge. Russian Mario would be called. Uh, that depends. Would you just be pronounced in a Russian accent or something? I'm trying to, it's like, I'm processing in my mind how it would be pronounced in a Russian accent. But when you try doing that, you're just thinking the automatic Italian Mario. It's like, you can't physically do that. I'm seriously trying to process through my head, but I can't physically do it for some weird reason. I can see that pretty far away. Except that one. I have no idea. I've got no experience with anything Russian at all. I wouldn't even know what it would like be properly spelt or anything. I have no idea. The only way to find that is get a Russian himself. But I don't know anyone that is Russian, so this will remain as a mystery. Ah, finally. In a pitched battle here in Bikini Bottom. Will our heroes bring Plankton? Yep, this is definitely the end point. I remember this section. Thank God. Crap. Just realized. The entire time the plane's flying around with a crowded patty, that's just free advertisement for the crusty crap. Supply for Mr. Krabs this whole time. Dopio? Okay. I'll believe you on that. Oh, I can break it. Damn it. I can break the second one at least. I'm mashing the button as much as I can, but there's a fire limit, damn it. Oh crap, I took more damage than I thought. They give you a few seconds though just to recover though, so that's nice. Ow. 
Oh, come on, come on. Yes. Okay. One more. I would have gotten this in one cycle if I was good enough. Ow. He's fallen. Oh. Um, you're supposed to fall. There you go. Well, play, play the, this particular experience right now. All of this has been a dream sequence. I don't think I want nightmares like this. Thank you very much. He's got a boo-boo. It was a bad idea. Okay, that's enough of that flying. Back to the actual gameplay of combat! <sighs> Meanwhile... How can I sleep at a time like this? Well, it must be a panic reflex, I guess. That's yep. actually not that surprising panic. for Patrick. Panic. 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 It'd be neat, but it'd pretty much... If you, if you think about it, it wouldn't be that much different to real life, to be honest. <laughs> I mean... It'd be nice seeing actually the characters and all that stuff, but I don't know. No idea what I do though. You also have to put in the factor of am I even going to be able to breathe underwater? I think I just end up being the French narrator. Or Mermaid Man, actually. I didn't think, I didn't even think about that. I think the film's decent, at least. It's been a while though, but it's okay, it's fine. That's about it, that's all I can say. Okay, so now Plankton has minions now, apparently. This is a dream, so logic doesn't really apply. I'm not in my underpants. I'm not in my underpants. Not yet. Now I am. I thought the stomp would work well here. Ooh, I'm taking a bit more damage than I'd like. Let's play it the smart way. I probably will change my mind. Like, if I've got time to kill, I'll just grab out my copy of it. My bootleg copy of it. The majority of the films I used to watch when I was a kid was copy DVDs, which is like the most illegal thing you could do. But the, the pile's like, it's stuck so, stocked up so much, it's like, yeah, I'm not going to replace all these films for that. Wind powers! This is definitely the best attack for groups. There's another seed. Where is it? Uh, is it up here? Nope. Where's the seed? Ah, there it is. Ow. Cheap! Wind-blowing attack doesn't work the way I imagine it would. Ow. You can't see, like, a, a rotation, like, movement. It's really awkward. You can't turn around quickly. Oh, crap. Yeah, he wasn't wrong there. I fell. <laughs> I try to... I'm definitely not pure, like, in real life. Like, I swear, like, nothing else. 
swearing doesn't exactly affect your personality and everything, though. Like in real, like in actual outside social life, quotation on that, I do tone it down like nothing else. Like it's well for live streams. Like I do tone it down because it's like not everyone's gonna come to a live stream for someone who swears every second. It's not fun. I try. I don't know, it's like you've been... I think I've just been influenced by the internet for so damn long, this is like, this is how I am now. I'm still like a nice person, it's just I, I swear. It happens. Na 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 Starfish man! Oh, now he's using his beam attack, which he should have started with to begin with. Let's see what happens when I stomp on him. Ah, right. Should have done that. <laughs> Definitely not tougher than leather, then. <laughs> I am not a strong boy, that's for sure. I wouldn't call those fingers, they're more like stumps. I mean, he has thumbs, I suppose, but they're not actually considered his fingers, apparently. Oh, you can't do that! Rude. Right, I'll pre-stomp one, and then get the button. Damn it, I missed. Ha! Alright, now I'll repeat the process for three times. Ooh, there's a seed. I want it. Got it. Alright, uh, pre stomp one. Yep. Already on it. I swear I'm punching the thing, but it just won't count. Yeah. You sure about that? He claims he went to college, but did he actually finish it? Where's your diploma, Plankton? I want proof. Every time. Ow. Cheap shot. Yeah, it's very true. You could even say the same to games. It's like, oh, the kids were raised wrong because they were, they were playing the wrong games. It's like, you can't blame the games, you blame parenting. Like, kids today, they're on, like, tablets and on the internet way too young than they should be. It's like, they're being influenced by it before they should. I wasn't influenced by it, like, badly until, you know, when I was, you know, in my teens. So, you know, it's fine. I wasn't really around the proper internet of, like, YouTube when I was younger. So, you know, nothing bad could influence me back then. It's like now, kids of four are on the internet already. It's like, that's way too young. What about Plan Z? That one always works. This is this music so inspired by Batman. Like you can't deny it. All right, this should be the last section, hopefully. No, no, it's not. It's not. This is the next one. 
this one's more of a level than a battle area, so that'd be fine. <laughs> Quite a claim. <laughs> I don't see how Mortal Kombat can influence something like that. It's just... It's a fighting game. There's nothing inherently wrong about it. Yeah, there's a bit of blood, a bit of bone crushing, but it's like... That influences murder? Nah. If, say, like, the person was sadistic and, you know, actually downright enjoys it a bit too much, and yeah, I might have some questions there. What does the button do? Ah, oh, good, I can just take them on. Screw fighting them! Come on. There you go. Just, just beam them, Plankton. You got a beam laser, use it. Just gonna take the hit, because I don't care. You really just, you really can't blame the game. You, you have to blame the people, like the parents for something like that. There's no explanation. Unless, of course, you know, you give GTA to, like, you know, an eight-year-old, because, you know, logic. It's the worst thing you could do. That almost killed me, but it didn't. Which is good. Come on, faster! There we go. That should be it. No! Okay, off we go. Just jump off. These loading screens on the previous one for Patrick. These are much more fun. No, it's just a heroic generic pose, but it's fun. Hello, and welcome to tonight's oh, yeah, this is, I think this is the last section. Maybe. Right, we need to break open those buttons. On, There's only one way we can do that, though. Alright, if I'm good, and I know I am, I need to hit his hand, but only when he's raised him. In order to break those cases for the buttons, you need Plankton to fire his laser, but if you place yourself correctly, you can get two in one shot. Yeah, like that. I didn't prep myself. I wasn't ready. There's another guy. Hi. Hey. Yeah, most of GTA is within the, you know, the player's controls, like, decisions and everything. Like, you could actually potentially just be a good, lawful citizen in GTA. That's not the main focus point, really, but, you know, you can. I'm sure someone's actually done that as a challenge, like, trying to obey the traffic laws while playing GTA. Someone must have done that. Ow. Oh, can I just stomp on that hand? Guess not. Oh, you can already see the fists in the yeah the glass floor. You can see them already in there. Weirdly enough. Oh, he's got fingers now. His hands got fingers. Yeah, he's got fingers now. Okay. Okay, fine. Pretty sure the mitts not that long ago. Glass respawn for weird reasons. Oh, there's a seed, but I can't see it. Careful. Ah, there it is. Carries placement. Come on. Shoot. 
There you go. Hang a minute. This ain't rules of three. This is rules of two. No, I'm not complaining. I just gotta get over this side because it's safer. Where's that last guy? Nope, he's, he's fallen. Okay, that's what happened. There was a third one, but he disappeared. Alright, Plankton. You've fallen. I'm supposed to fall here! That one's actually kind of a nice little joke. Probably could have been executed better, but, you know. I get the point. Alright, now it's the last section. I keep claiming I keep claiming it's the last one, but this one is for real. For real most certainly definitely is the last section. This news just in. Yes, yes it is. is I know better. Let's see. Press all the buttons. Well, that's nice. It keeps disappearing down these hatches. Mighty annoying. When you do catch up with it, just charge it up and fire. Ready, you press the buttons and win. Alright, which one is it rising from? That one. Alright, am I fine standing on there? Yeah. Mash Z awkwardly. Ah, missed. He dodged. He learned how to dodge. <laughs> Perfectly normal and average. Didn't scar you for life or change your life in any way. Nah. I've never played any Prince of Persia games, but it's like, I don't know, it could, you could have experienced worse. I mean, hell, I'm, I mean, Disney thought it was a perfectly fine game to adapt into a film. It must be perfectly serviceable. the button. Yeah, the next one will get him. Since there's four platforms here, there's a high chance the next one will get him. No, no, I want the seed. Damn, why'd you have to do that? No. I have to reset the buttons because the damn seed was there and I had to get it. Well, in the film of of Endgame, spoilers, just be fair in case anyone else, the original Thanos was killed, you know, to get the stones back, but in the film, St uh, Thanos destroyed the stones, and in a bit of a fit of rage, Thor killed, killed Thanos by, you know, getting him in the head to justify. But due to, you know, time travel stuff, the past Thor came, uh, Thor, uh, Thanos came in and thought, Ooh, they already collected the stones, I'll take that. And that's what the second fight with Thanos is, is just a younger version of him, essentially. Not by much, it's literally the um, first Avengers Thanos, pretty much. Alright, we're at the end point. So, if you collected the Sleepy Seeds, and sadly I missed a few, you would be able to pick either Spongebob, Patrick, or Plankton. If you don't collect any, you only get Spongebob. You only get slightly different endings depending on who you pick. And usually I pick Spongebob. Yeah, it's nice to have a little, you know... A reason to revisit levels. Though if you had cheats, you could just downright ignore this. Now for the most trippiest sequence. Have been dream, hmm? that are vivid and yeah, just a smidge. Yeah, exactly it. May I ask, 
What were you eating before you fell asleep? Krabby hmm? Patty, I guess. I love Krabby Patties. I too indulged in a crumb. A mere morsel, mind you, of succulent Krabby Patty. Well, then, the circumstances are quite clear. The particular chemical composition of these Krabby Patties must have affected your unconscious biorhythms and so altered your dreams. This is not uncommon with the Krabby Patty snack. Especially late at night. How do you know so much about Krabby Patties, Doctor? Is it not obvious? Yet, they explained in the film and stuff that the time travel for Endgame is multiverse theory, so they don't have to worry about continuity issues, essentially. They could just downright ignore it. There are one or two continuity errors, I'd say. Not massive ones, but the only major one I can think of is the Soul Stone. If you've seen how they handle the Soul Stone, then you know what I'm going on about. That guy wasn't a guy at all. Oh, he was the Krabby Patty. Uh, back to the old steering mechanics. At least I don't have to put the nunchuck in ever again. This is the last part. It's just a race. It's actually kind of a challenging race, just a tiny bit. You need to actually know what you're doing and take the appropriate shortcuts too. It all looks perfectly normal to me, Rick. And SpongeBob gets a weird ass car, like I don't get the relevancy here. Off we go! I am backing up! Backing up! Damn it! I was thinking two was accelerate. Ah, they're not that bad. Educational television! Nice ship, Dr. Octopus. I don't know what that doctor was talking about. This is all perfectly normal. Oh yes, perfectly standard in everyday normality. Doesn't matter the location don't we're in. It looks like we're in um Uh out, Damn it, I've forgotten the name of the goddamn episode. It's the one where they fall to the ravine, essentially. Early one, season one. Rock bottom. I think that's the episode of the thing. It looks like we're there. Actually, looking at the aesthetics, this actually isn't that very, you know, made up. It's actually quite accurate. Like, deep sea aquatics are very glowy. But probably not to this ghost like effect. Uh, that's all right. I forgot which way is faster. Oh, it's right. It's most certainly right. No, they killed their Thanos. It's just that they killed him after he destroyed their, like, their stones. The problem with the time travel thing is that they couldn't, like, time travel willy-nilly. That's the problem. <laughs> no, um, they couldn't time travel as much as they wanted. They were working with a set amount of times they could time travel. Like, they needed to collect all the Infinity Stones within the same relative amount of time, essentially. Just keep it convenient and close together. Um, their limit was with how they discovered time travel was with Ant-Man's, you know, shrinking power with the pin particles. They only had so many, so they can only do it so many times. Pretty much, Back to the Future, there's, there's a catch, you know, to time travel. There has to be a limit. Hey, look, SpongeBob, you're in my dream! I hate to disappoint you, pal. Now, where's the seed for this? I keep getting the sign for it, but I don't know where it is. Wait, they put a seed in the final level where you're... Oh, damn, that's cheeky. That means you actually can't, like, unlock all the characters before you actually come here. You have to beat it once. Just so you can unlock everyone. That's a bit stupid. Coming kind of a bit close. Alright, I'm gonna need to figure out where the shortcuts are, because uh, the next one's gonna be tight. Where are the damn shortcuts? I can't remember. Ooh, flash of light. That's not fair. Christ, 
10 seconds on the clock already. This one's going to be very tight. Uh, the correct term is Octopi. I don't know why I know that. Uh, which one is it? Left or right? It's right. Okay. Ooh, this one's going to be tight. Oh, that's where they put it. Cheeky. There's three of them? I read the comment in the section. I'm too focused. I just need to beat this thing and I'll read it. Oh, there's the shortcut. I just ignored it. Damn it. Oh, came over from Mr. Krabs. Not time. Alright, if I fail this, at least I know where that shortcut is. It's quite necessary. Uh, if this was a joystick, this would be easier. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Damn it, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, damn it. No, I was right there. Pretty much. It was just about hype with the time travel thing. I didn't expect it, though, to be honest. Like, I didn't think they were actually gonna do it. To be fair, the trailers didn't indicate or hint anything towards what they were actually going to do for the film. But what they did do was actually pretty fun. Time travel is a tricky plot to work around, but they managed to do a pretty good job with it. And heck, they even, you know... The scenes they do time travel in, it's all relevant to the previous films for all the, you know, time... Uh, the, um, all the Infinity Stones. So, that's nice. Seeing old locations brought back is nice. Well, I'm definitely going to watch the Spider-Man Far From Home, considering that film is directly after Endgame. So it's like, it's basically the aftermath of the film, it's like how everyone's doing after that film. Especially the recent trailer is definitely telling you exactly what's going on with the film, essentially. Besides, it's Spider-Man, you can't go wrong. I was a bit hyped, to be fair, just a tiny bit. You know, it was a fun time doing the film. Ah, no, you don't. Ah, I'm not doing it this time. I'm not sure if that really was a shortcut, but I'm taking it. This is exception levels of dreamery. Actually, I've never seen Inception. I just know, I like, I know about it. But I've never seen it. Definitely going on max speed, I know it. Yeah, it's probably better if I just drive straight, but it's hard to straighten yourself and align it correctly. Damn you, motion controls! That's cheap. Pretty much, like, you use the same characters for so long, like, eventually, the ideas for the films do run out. Same for Captain America, actually, he's not gonna be part of the films either. Well, it's gonna be a new version of him, essentially. Straight from the comics, like, that idea, but, you know. I mean, they've been at this for, like, ten plus years, eventually, gotta, it's gotta wear out at some point. Which one? There's more than one. Oh, no, you don't. Hey, look, you're in my That's dream. racist. I'm wow, nice definitely feeling better about this one since so you know about that shortcut. Hopefully, it is a shortcut because I can't tell the difference. <laughs> That plankton just stopped in the middle of the road. Alright, I definitely feel better about this one. I have much more time now. I think it's probably because I've just been avoiding the obstacles. I got 
time. I got loads of time. This is fine. Oh, yeah. Feel the These things are hard to avoid. And I managed to avoid them. I nailed it. That is pretty bad. I have another letter from a Mr. E. Krabs, and he asks, Where's me fry cook? Ha ha ha, that's a very good question. Oh, I think I just I avoided the shortcut because I was too distracted by the comment. Damn it. I have time. I've got time. I think. I'm gonna make it. I'm going to make it. Increases chances of not making it. I need to drive more straight so I can get my full speed. I can make it, I can make it, I can make it, I can make it. Damn it, I need that boost, damn it! Ah! Oh. I missed the boost, I missed that last shortcut. Third time's the charm. I'm just padding for time now, just notice the timer, it's literally only gonna pass one hour. I'm definitely padding. One of the mascot characters in Disneyland? Well, if I had to pick, um, probably Donald. <laughs> that's, just, that's just about it. It's just like if I was to pick one, I'd, I'd pick Donald. Not sure if I'd actually do it, but, you know, if I had an option, I'd pick him. You've got full speed if you're like driving straight forward, which is tricky because you're using a Wii remote and there's no like center position. It's awkward. And I just lost all my speed. Thanks. Oh, damn, I missed the shortcut. Ugh, okay, that's fine. It's only the first lap. I make up time. Get the next one. They really cut the time like stupid close. This is a kid's game! To be fair, this is like the last level. It's like it's a little harder than it should be. This must be the dead times then. They have to be. I bet you would have actually beat that lap if I got that last bit. <laughs> oh, thanks for the idea. Great, I'll take it back now. I'm pretty sure if I suggest anyone else, it'd be worse. I've seen that, um... There's a Corridor Digital video of, like, uh, you fought, like, a hundred horse-sized, uh, a hundred duck-sized horses for one horse-sized duck. And seeing the duck just literally just grabbed the poor guy and just wrapped all him around. It's like, mm. no thanks. What's the strangest race you ever watched? I'd say without a shadow of a doubt, it might be this one. Well, I can't disagree with you. Ah, that explains everything then. <laughs> just see a massive duck coming out the shadows. It's just, oh god. Oh, I missed it again, damn it. A little hard to see, it just sneaks up on you. I need to memorize it. Alright, gotta get the next one, or else I won't have a chance. Alright, dead set focus. I can't even look at the comments, or else it's just enough. Damn it, I'll read this one. Yeah, sometimes, like, the Coral Channel does have some little odd concepts like that Rops video. That was just inspired by Silent Hill though, that's the thing, so that's fair. And the moth thing too, like, they have ideas, they definitely execute them. I haven't properly seen it because I can't handle horror, but it's like, when they have an idea, they, they do execute it quite well. I mostly just watched the secondary channel though of, of uh, Cold War Crew. I don't know, it's just, it's nice seeing them just, <laughs> seeing the main people there just interact. It's like, 
I want to be in that community, but I can't. Wow, Flanken, nice hovercraft. Oh, crap, I'm out of time. I'm so out of time. Jesus, I barely made that. Uh, I, um, no, it's probably best I don't. Something tells me I have to creepy pasta, and no, thank you. I've already, already got enough by suicidal Squidward. I'm pretty sure it's the same result. No, not this time. Yeah, that definitely cuts a few seconds out. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, damn it. Third time the charm is not it. She's just like a second off. Oh, Sonic the, uh, .exe? Yeah, I've seen like all of them. Definitely overused. Although I did see a recent fan game that actually tried to tackle it differently. Like, completely just changed the, like, the whole concept of it, essentially. It's like, the character of .exe Sonic's like, just so fed up of being overused as, as the creepypasta. It's like, no, oh, I'm gonna do something else. It's like, that's different. It was a, it was like a fan game or whatever, just a project or whatever. It's like, that's different. Alright, I guess fourth time the charm it is. I have to take that shortcut every time. Probably. I mean, I saw that video of Gaston, like, someone actually challenged the Gaston character in the Disneyland to do push-ups, and he just downright ran with it. Like, damn. That takes good, like, personality for actually sticking with that. Like, it, it takes a proper mindset for something like that. Quite impressive to do something like that. No, no. Okay, so it's the clam section. Just memorize it's at a clam section. Then it'll be fine. I'm pretty sure they do, because they probably only exist in the dream world. A uh, what? Really? That guy was fired just for doing push-ups? They just lost a star. What's so wrong with a person actually trying to stay within character? Unless it's something outside of that, of course. People are people. Still. Uh, it's not this one, I think it's the second one. The clamp section, I mean. Uh, these blue things are so hard to avoid. Let's see, it's right. Okay. Ow. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. It's not. It's the next one. Really, he was actually far for doing the push-ups. Why? That's that's staying in character. That's stupid. I mean, I know certain like Disney Park characters can't do certain things. I remember uh, some guy on YouTube. I think Defunct Land. I think that's the YouTube channel name. He did a video on like Bear in the Bear, Bear in the Big Blue House, and where he. The main puppeteer who actually performed and acted as 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 the bear um, did do some like Disney Park walkarounds as the character, full costume and everything. And some of the Disney Park people said, "No, you can't actually be in character for this." But it's like, I think they weren't actually where he actually was the real guy. But still, it's like, what are the limitations for being in character? It's like, it's like, um, going to a convention, it's like, 
Okay, you dress up as Deadpool, but don't actually be Deadpool. You just lose the whole point of cosplaying then. This. I've got this. I've already taken the shortcut. Just gotta get the next one. Take the seed as well. Ah, that's true. But still act within character. Probably not speak up, but you know, you'd still act in character. Would be awkward though, thinking about it, but still, it's like. It's quite a challenge to just to be as one of those characters and stay within character. It's not an easy thing to do. Yeah, a guy can do impressions, but can you do that all day? That's a different story. No time, I can do this. Just gotta get the speed booster. Come on, come on. You git! You absolute git! Damn you! Okay, this is the fifth and last time. I've taken all the shortcuts, I've took all the boosters, and now that damn grinding glitch is affecting me now. <laughs> I mean, it's just a tiny bit unrealistic, but I want my Mario, damn it. Right, this is the last time I do this, because this is taking me too many times. This is a kid's game, this should be easy. It's been easy this whole damn game, but... I do remember when I was younger just having difficulties with this race. And it's harder than it should be. There must be other shortcuts I'm missing out on. There have to be. I'm cutting all the corners. I'm doing the smart routes. What am I missing? If only this car was just ten times faster, it'd be more reasonable. I'm assuming... That's mean. I need the speed booster, but it's not on the left side. Yes, I have. It was like the Mercedes advert from Mario Kart. It's weird, but cool at the same time. They did a representation of Mario, Luigi, and Peach. It's like, this is what the Mario movie should look like, clearly. <laughs> not really, but it's like, it's weird. It was most certainly creepy, but it was fun at the same time. It's like, you're never going to see that ever again. It's not even an American-made production like ever either. That, like, that was Japanese purely. I think. I could be completely wrong what I said there, but yeah. <laughs> Very true, but it's like... I don't want this to be the whole stream. This is literal padding. It, it, I don't like repeating myself countless senseless times. It's not fun. I mean, probably getting better progressively, but it's like still. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I wish I had a soundboard. I genuinely want one. Well, I want a stream deck, but it's like. That's 130 quid there, mate. There is a cheaper version, but it's like 80, 80 quid. It's like, I'm about, I'm about just paying for the full version. As soon as I ever get the money for one of those things, I'm so using that for sound clips. I need a list for that, though. Definitely the Knuckles Oh No would be right on there. I have a few other sound effects I should probably put on there, too. Ah, no. Ah, damn it. Well, oh, that's it. Time's lost. It's the boost. I swear, if I actually get the damn lap for this one. This takes too long. I'm just going to YouTube the ending because nothing changes. They probably would be just a tiny smidge. I would agree with that. I'm not sure whether it's actually the smart thing to do, but I think taking the boost, if you just try and stay forward as much as possible, you get a much better speed boost in general. Probably what I should be doing, but I'm not sure. 
racing mechanics in a SpongeBob game. Never heard of it. Gotta be the last one. Thank you. Don't want the left. The left is slow. Come on, come on. I have another letter from a Mr. E. Krabs, and he asked. Which corner? Where's me fight cook? Heart is pounding. It's with these games and hard ass end games with, for kids. Why? Why are they so hard? Ugh, slow down. Come on, come on. We've got time. We've got time. This is it. This is it. This is the one. This is it. There we go. God. Ugh. I did it. Why was that one I got 10 seconds to spare? All the other ones wasn't. You back to the Krusty Krab where you belong. We want Krabby Patties. Yeah, where's This is the most low poly people I've ever seen. Stand aside. I mean, that's good resource management, I suppose. Job done. Uh, hey, stupid! I said without relish. One Krabby Patty, no relish coming right. Stop! Why is everybody staring at me? Have I always had oh, this? Oh God! Show? It's that one episode again. Meow. Uh. Eh? Eh? Uh. uh, I have several questions. Oh, it was all Gary's dream. Now it makes sense. I think. Yeah, that was one intense dream. Never again. That's some Inception qualities right there. Oh, that's it. <laughs> the awkward. <laughs> uh, yeah, kids games just like sneaking up that little hard bit right at the end, but I guess that's the point. It's like, you expect it to be easy, but it's just like, okay, let's put this hard brick wall in front of you, just to make sure it's not too easy. Yeah, that was Creature from the Krusty Krab. It's not as great as I remember it being. I think it was the themings and everything I liked more, but replaying it, it's very basic. And I know there are definitely better other Spongebob games that definitely do feel more Spongebob-like, that's for sure. I'm gonna skip these credits, though. There's an extra scene. Good morning, Gary. This ending's a bit... dark, shall I say. It's going slightly faster than normal. Hi. Where you going? Hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah, just some kids games just like sneaking a hard bit for no real reason because, you know, gotta make that money worth it apparently. Cough, cough, the, the, um, the Lion King game, cough, cough. I had to think about that for some weird reason. That one's notoriously known as hard, but that's the point. Oh, well, I suppose that's it for our day. Spongebob, you, you tease. Do that to him. 
Oh, I didn't get that message. <laughs> oh, wait, I did. I just didn't read it. I, think, I guess I didn't read it properly. I have no idea. It's probably just something a little subconscious, I suppose, but probably nothing major, really. I don't know how kids think. I mean, I didn't know how I thought, so... <laughs> also, Spongebob died. The Alaskan bullworm just came in and ate him. That's it. That's how it ends. That's a bit... Uh, yeah, okay. Alright. Uh, since we got a bit of time to kill, let's have a look at some of the extra stuff. Let's see. Key codes. We can insert those. Let's see. Shop. Let's get some extras. We got so much money. Except this section takes way too damn long to do. How much do we got? We got enough. Oh yeah, they've been making a lot of the remake stuff. It's not exactly amazing content, though. Although, I'm having, you know, better faith than, like, Aladdin. Like, I saw a recent trailer in, in for the Endgame film. I don't know, it might turn good. Potentially. I mean... I mean, one of them has to eventually be good, you know, after, like, eight-plus films, so, you know. There's a chance. This is way too slow for a goddamn extras unlock. No, I'm not doing this. It takes way too long. Instead, uh, let's just see what the cheats are. What you could potentially unlock. I'm not gonna unlock them, because there's no way to really display them. Let's see here. Ignored it. Because... Nope. Activate. I, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. They probably get a little off-put, I suppose. Like, why aren't the, you know, X and Y character not talking? But, I don't know. Maybe there's a reason as to why they try to make sure they don't talk. Some of them, one or two of them may just end up being completely different to what they expect. And it looks like it doesn't tell you what's changed. Well, so these images here are just, the, like, the most stock images ever. Normally what they give you here is, like, for particular levels you get a unique model. I remember for the Diesel Dreaming one, they changed out the Spongebob player model to a skeleton, I think. Or something else. You get certain effects, a change of vehicles, just nice little extras you can get. I think you can get some, like, you can actually legit get some of the cheats through the extras thing. But you have to put in the cheat code, which is weird. I'm not gonna bother with these, though. There's no point! <laughs> God knows what's going on. I have no idea how hard or strict it is with Disneyland's rules. I mean, it's hard to keep everything, you know, perfect. Right. I'll do for stream, me thinks. But first, the thumbnail for whatever the next thing is. Okay, that's the thumbnail for the game we did. So what is it next I'm doing? I wasn't really sure if I should do it now or at some point later in the future, but I need to do something a little longer than just three streams. I'm doing Sonic 06. Yeah, okay, that's that's what I'm doing next, because I got nothing else in mind to do longer, but the game after this is definitely going to be a step up in quality, that's for sure. I just thought, why not? It's been a while since I visited this game. Be interesting to see how I can handle it now. I know it would definitely take longer than three streams, that's for sure. Yeah, hopefully that will turn out well. Maybe this will be the game that will give me all the views I need. Yeah, it, it's all up to Disney or how they handle things. I don't question it. As long as, you know, as, as long as everything works fine and functional, there shouldn't be any reason to complain, really. <laughs> anyway, so that was a stream, I suppose. Uh, what day is today? Today's a Wednesday. Yeah, so tomorrow's stream will be heading straight to Psycho 6. <laughs> ah, I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm a Psych fan, so I'm sure I'll enjoy it more than I should. That's the nature of things, for some odd reason. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna be more fun than the Spongebob game here. I mean, it's it's been a solid game, it's just 
I'm sure I'm gonna have more fun with 06. I'm sure of it. Definitely. And not complain about every single glitch and quirk about it whatsoever. Yeah, sure. Alright, that was a stream. Very short stream, but hey, at least we reached the one hour marker. <laughs> eh, can't help it. I enjoy things more than I should. That's probably a, a complete danger to myself, probably. Oh, we'll see. Can't wait to find out if I actually genuinely hate the game or not. <laughs> anyway, that's a stream. Short one, but uh, we've reached the quota enough to qualify as a stream. So, hope everyone enjoyed the game, and tomorrow we'll be moving to Psycho 6. That'll be fun. Yay! I'm definitely going to be looking to the game after that, though, because it's definitely going to be a step up, but got to have priorities first. Alright, well, hope everyone enjoyed their time, and see you for the next stream, then. Goodbye.